We're waiting on heavyweights here, and you can see peeked out to the right there. There's Anthony Kassar. And uh, I've been looking forward to this one. I know you have, too, because Anthony Kassar, quite a, uh, a story himself. Penn State last year at 197 and was not chosen to be their varsity wrestler to go on to the Big Tens at 197. And he started right then, and he's probably at about 250 now. And he's going to go up against Gable Stevenson, a senior versus a freshman. Every time you lay eyes on Anthony Kassar, he looks like he's five pounds bigger, right? And so he's working himself into that weight. And he's got the type of style, likes to attack with the left arm lead he'll attack the left leg um, you know pretty well so he's gotten better and better once he's gotten used to the, the, the big power guys right there so again Stevenson is not only a power guy but also has the speed that Kassar has but he's a good style matchup for uh, uh, Stevenson because he's got the ability to go ahead and shoot that left-handed high crotch there's Anthony Kassar coming Look out of the him. tunnel with the other heavyweights <laughs> and uh, he no 197 pounder anymore <laughs> more, Jim <laughs> Looking good. And there's his opponent behind him. Coming on, Gable Stevenson. He's the top seed. He's undefeated. But it's a big crowd. And this is what they've been waiting for all day. The partisan Gopher fans here. And they have been a great. They always knowledgeable, knowledgeable and follow the team with a lot of faithfulness. We're in that traditional gold singlet there. You see how they got here. Pretty dominant performance by both of them. Take a look at that early win by Stevenson over Sam Stoll, the eighth seed right there from Iowa. Guy's been an All-American. But, you know, talk about builds. Uh, you talk about power and the ability to go ahead and, and uh, good footwork. That's Gable Stevenson here. He's really moves well. Here we go. What you would believe is the top test of the year for the undefeated true freshman who was in high school last year, finishing up his career, dreaming of this moment right here. Step at a time. There's Kassar in, but the hips of Stevenson keeps him from finishing. Right there, good test for both guys on their defense. Haven't seen it as much, but Gable Stevenson likes to hit that little swing single right there. All right. Little ankle pick. Last Big Ten champion for Minnesota. He also, Chris Dardanes in 2015. Excuse me, Tim, but he also likes to work off the underhook right on the left-hand side, and, and naturally, Kassar keeps that right leg back, okay? So that's kind of the side that he likes to attack to. So he just, it's going to be difficult for him to get to it. So sometimes, you know, when you see situations like this, the guy's not as comfortable, so he's got to move him around a little bit to get, work the head to get to that left-handed underhook, and then Stevenson's offense really starts to open up from there. For Kassar... He wants to attack the left leg of, of Stevenson. He wants to get to it and finish it. And he, what he's been doing a better and better job of his attacking at angles, so it's almost effortless. He's lifting guys, but not going against their power. Stevenson trying to become not only a Big Ten title, but his, uh, his sights are set on an NCAA title, and the last one to do it for the Gophers, a heavyweight, Tony Nelson, a while ago. 2013. Well, Gable couldn't have uh, walked into a better pr tradition than the Minnesota heavyweights, <laughs> you know. And with Tony in the yeah. room, yeah, working out, uh, contender at the uh, international level, and so what a great opportunity. Anthony Kassar out of Rocky Hill, New Jersey, one of six New Jerseyans in the finals. He's Montgomery High School, senior eligibility-wise. Whether or not he'll get an uh, extra year or not is still uh we don't know but he certainly could because he had two full years practically of being injured and not competing you, know, you take a look at anthony at this weight class you go why didn't we think of this earlier well you, you get, had nick nevels you know so here's a guy that's beaten an all-american all -American. beating an all-american off of the team and is moving up much action again I think it's just a style from their their stance styles you can't really see or get to their shot right now well the end of the first period will be scoreless and so let's go to Shane who has more about both of these wrestlers TJ, they've both taken very different paths in getting to this championship final. Stevenson, of course, as you said, the true freshman phenom 
a four-time state champion in high school. He's a multiple-time world champion. Then you have Kassar. He qualified for the New Jersey State Championship just one time. That was as a senior. He won it. He comes to Penn State. He redshirts. Misses a couple of years due to injury. Of course, last year he's down at 197. Had that big win against more of Ohio State, but ultimately Penn State went with Shakura Sheet in postseason. So what does he do? He puts on 25, 30 pounds to go up to heavyweights where Neville's a two-time All-American was awaiting. So just phenomenal resiliency from Kassar. I know it's an anticipated battle here in the second period. Good insight, Shane. Thanks for that. Like Jim, like you said, I go, think those 25 or 30 have become uh, closer to 40 or 45. He puts on five pounds every yeah. month. Now we're talking about Anthony Kassar and his journey from being the 197 pounder last year to the heavyweight. That's uh, the top uh, test for Gable Stevenson. And we're talking about a true freshman and uh, undefeated here for the Gophers. And the Gopher fans are pretty excited for these next, these four years with Gable Stevenson anchoring the program for Brandon Agum, well, I think the head that, coach. I think the fans would be a little excited, more excited if the, the, the guys found a way to their offense, but so it's a lot of little hand fighting and Stop. then they break free. Show me. Angel Rivera, the guys, officials saw a hand clasp there. It's gonna give them a warning. Again, neither guy not really getting in it. That, now, there's a left leg lead there by Stevenson. Can, can Kassar get to it? It, it just, I wouldn't say both guys seem like they're disinterested, but they're definitely disinterested in attacking below the waist right now. Looking in the corner, and you see that Anthony Kassar has an Olympic champion in the corner. Jake Varner, assistant coach, along with Cale Sanderson. Jake Varner, the uh, Olympic champion who is now part of that coaching staff, certainly adds a lot to Kassar's development as a heavyweight. Green choice. Now, one of the things about, and I've been impressed, kind of like the same thing when Mark Hall burst on the scene, that, that uh, Gable is really tough in the top position. He's really improved there as well. So this is going to be work here for Kassar. He gets the quick escape. So, so it's 1-1. One, one. What do I know? Yeah, <laughs> and so the undefeated Gable Stevenson over the, uh, or tied with the once defeated Anthony Kassar, his only loss of the year, to Derek White from Oklahoma State. Three to two in the uh, in the scuffle, the southern scuffle. Yeah, now, see, that's the first time he's able to get to that left-handed underhook right there. Now, warning against Kassar as the underhook forces by Stevenson forces Kassar off the mark. Now he's coming back to it, that left-handed underhook. You see how Kassar is working his head back in. Now he gets that side right there. Look at this mat return. Boom. <laughs> wow, textbook, low, sweeping single. Comes to his feet, lifts Kassar. Gets the two point out in front now, three to two. He's made a statement, Jim. Yeah, he did. He did right there. When you see that power pack lower body right there, you weren't, any, you weren't worried whether he's going to be able to lift Kassar off the mat. But, but you see how he set that up? Collar tie, underhook, and then when, when Kassar was leaning back into him, he hit that little duck shot right there. And what impresses me about Gable Stevenson is he can attack three fourths. If you build the body into four quadrants, he can go left side high with that underhook, left side low, and he can go the other side here. So he's got almost three of those quadrants covered with technique that will work on about anybody. Wow, shot there. Good work. Good job. First and two. Yeah. And he goes ahead for a short time. Yep. Wow. Kassar fights through and gets a two for a takedown and goes ahead and four to three. Now, Kassar is good enough in the top position that he can go ahead and expect him to drop on those ankles. Good spiral ride, changes over the right-hand side. Remember, there is a stall warning against Kassar. Yeah, good job of Lutunai, cast over the top side. No points. Short time. Drops in on the leg. Wow. 
Anthony Kassar stuns, bringing him back in. Got a little blood there. Two seconds left on the clock. Anthony Kassar stunning the undefeated freshman Gable Steveson with this late takedown. Yeah, great straight on double leg right into power, but you know he got below the knees on it. Take a look at it. You can look at the Kassar take the drops back in. Look at the big step up and then gets to the single leg and drops back there, leans him back. Kept well, driving, didn't yeah. he? Well, yeah, he, he went for a double. We've seen that before with the lightweights where they shoot the double, they end up with the single. Excellent finish. And you make a great point there because Kassar, if they, as a heavyweight, wrestles like a lightweight. Well, both these guys do, but they, they, you're, you're right, Tim. In that instance, it was just, you know, straight on double leg. Don't get on you yet. Know, one of those legs is going to come back because you can't just sprawl back and gets the trailing leg. And Big that's win. it. Two heavyweights, they clash. And they waited a while, but that third period was wild. And Anthony Kassar steps up, takes the heavyweight position for the Nittany Lions, and wins his first Big Ten championship. Well done. Take a look at that takedown again. Straight on double leg, and he steps up and hits that single leg and comes back into that little uh, finish where he brings his head back into him and Nothing Gable Stevens can do about that beautiful finish. Well done. Great execution by Kassar, and Shane is standing there with the champ. Well, you said it, TJ. His mouth guard says it, champ. You are a Big Ten champion, a stacked heavyweight class. What are you most proud of, especially slaying the Giants to win the title? Just being consistent and gratitude. You know, I haven't been able to put this Penn State single on and wrestle in the Big Tens or Nationals. And that's been hard. You know, I've been close numerous times. I was able to do it today, so I was just grateful to God. And that's disrespectful to him and everyone who supports me if I don't get my best out here. So that's what I did. Talked about it during the match, and you and I have talked about it on, on occasion the resiliency that you've had. What is most satisfying in getting this title? Just consistency. You know, I, I know that over the past five years, I've worked harder and more committed than anyone. And I want it more than anyone, so out here, I don't have to think much. I can just rely on that training and that preparation. That's what I did. Congratulations, Anthony. Good to see you.